Let's make this Xbox cooler and quieter with an 80 millimeter fan upgrade. Some things you're gonna need to complete this mod are the tools required to open the Xbox in general. I always left these out in the other tutorials, so I decided to add them in like this. You're also going to need a rotary tool with a cutting disc, a flathead screwdriver, possibly some wire cutters and some electrical tape. And depending on how you want to mount the new fan in, either some hot glue or some zip ties. All right, to get started, you're just gonna want to disassemble your Xbox. I'm just gonna do that right now. All right, once you've got that done, you're gonna want to unplug your fan for starters. Then you're going to wanna take your flathead screwdriver and there's some tabs on both sides of the fan. You're just gonna wanna pry those up and off and at the same time pull on the fan and do the same on the other side. And there you have it, your old fan is now free. Okay, from here what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna wanna remove these two prongs that were holding in the other fan uh, that's super simple to do. Literally, just push on them and they come cleanly off, as you can see. Both of them are off. Uh, now you can go ahead and set this aside. Okay, so next what you're gonna wanna do is remove the hard drive from its cage. It's held in place by four Torx 15 screws, so go ahead and take those out. Go ahead and set the hard drive aside. So what we're gonna wanna do next is actually modify the hard drive cage. Uh, our new fan is actually quite a bit bigger then our old fan, as you can see, there is quite a size difference. Uh, so we're actually gonna have to modify the fan too, but let's first start with the hard drive cage. Uh, modifying it is super easy. All we're going to need to do is follow this line and just cut this whole little area off. Be sure to wear safety goggles and get to cutting. All right, so that's what you gotta do. That's what you gotta cut out. I actually have a non-modified one to give you guys an idea, again, of what you need to cut out. Unmodified, the modified. Uh, it should take a little bit more time and actually clean up your cuts. It just makes it look better. Not that it really matters all that much, but yeah, you gotta take pride in what you do. Okay, so next what we're gonna wanna do is modify the fan. You're going to wanna pick what side is your bottom. Uh, I'm just gonna be putting it in there like this. So you're actually just gonna wanna trim down these four little corners. I'll just show you guys.
Okay, so I have trimmed all these four little corners off, as you can see. Uh, be sure not to hit your LEDs or the wiring to your LEDs if you're using a LED lit fan like I am. Uh, so now it should just slide right into the Xbox, so let's go ahead and do that. Right, you're going to want to take the side that you trimmed off, and that's going to be your bottom. So, as you can see, it just slides right into place right there. Uh, like I said, to keep it in, you're either going to want to use twisty ties or hot glue. Uh, I've chosen hot glue, so I'm just going to put a little bit of hot glue on the bottom. Uh, you should also take into consideration which way the airflow is going. You're going to want to pull the air out through the back. Uh, most fans actually have it printed on the fan itself. Uh, this one doesn't. So if yours doesn't, just mount yours like mine and it should be fine. All right, so after your hot glue has dried or however you mounted it in is done, uh, this one actually comes with a fan connector and all you got to do is plug it in. It actually comes with a Molex too, which you could choose to cut off, but I'm going to choose to leave it on for now because it will help in future mods. So I'm going to go ahead and just plug it in. Uh, and now would be a good time to just plug the power into your Xbox and turn it on. Uh, just to make sure the fan actually works. And as you see, the fan comes on, so everything's all good. Uh, another thing you guys are going to need to modify is the back left leg of the DVD tray. Because the fan is a lot bigger, like I was saying before. Uh, one easy way is to literally just cut this whole leg off. Uh, if you're not comfortable with that, you're going to have to buy the fan more. And I don't really like cutting up fans all that much, and I'm definitely good at cutting up Xboxes, so... Go ahead and modify it like I'm going to right now. Right. Okay guys, one more thing to modify. I know, modify this, modify that. Uh, I promise this is the last thing. Uh, you need to remove the top piece of the fairway cage. Uh, some people don't like removing it. I've honestly had no trouble whatsoever. All you gotta do is bend these tabs up. There are six spots. You just use a flathead screwdriver. I've already did it all already. You can probably tell because it's already bent up. So, after removing it, the last thing you guys are going to need to modify is this right here. It just needs to be cut down, so I'm just going to cut it down for you right here. And that's it, that's all you gotta do. Now you can put your Xbox back together. Okay, so it's all back together. I don't know if you guys can see the light from it. Uh, disregard the Goodwill sticker, I actually got it for $15 cause they were doing that half off on the yellow stickers. Anyway, if you can see it, it's all done. I hope this tutorial helped you guys. If it did, uh, please leave a comment, like, subscribe. You can also follow me on Twitter for updates on my channel. Anyways, till next time, peace.